Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The reason why I have this website, omax.com, which is a website for the company Omax, a precision abrasive water jet systems company. The reason why I have it pulled up here on my iPhone is because the owner of the company, at least I think he's the owner of the company, sent me a $100 gift certificate on iTunes. He sent it to chris at perillo.com, and he just sent it because he always wanted to see his logo in uh, one of the videos that I recorded for YouTube at live.perillo.com. So I was more than happy to pull his logo up in the browser. Thank you very much. I certainly appreciate it. So there's the logo, and I'll also pan back at the end of this video demonstration to show you the wallpaper that he sent me, which I think is, is quite nice. It also has his logo, but I, I think you'll actually want to receive a copy of it after you see it. So one of the first apps that I bought in uh, the iTunes App Store was a program called Star Map. And the reason why is because I'm an amateur astronomer. I enjoy looking at the stars, but sometimes I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, and it's nice to be able to search for all sorts of objects. Well, the Star Map uh, description uh, explained that it, it had a, in its database uh, literally uh, hundreds of thousands of visible stars that you can search through, um, that you can pinch and zoom as if you were looking through uh, a telescope. Uh, you could search for galaxies, nebula, uh, uh, you know, any kind of passing objects. Uh, it, it was allegedly a, a really powerful app, and indeed it is powerful, but here's the problem it is unresponsive. As far as I'm concerned, this app is virtually unusable. It is so incredible. I am touch, I am like literally scraping my finger across this application and it is not responding. And when it does respond, it responds so slowly that I can't even tell if the app is working anymore. That That is just, inexcusable and for twelve dollars I, I certainly expected a lot more now granted I didn't spend you know hundreds of dollars on it but still I mean f for an application to behave like this is just absolutely inexcusable I'm trying to move the map and I can't even do it and when it does move it's so jaggy look I can try a different it's not moving it's just not a very well programmed app at all. And here's another thing that it does. Now see I'm trying to go home. It locks everything up. The options are down below and you can scroll a little wheel. Um, I tried to identify my position and th granted this doesn't have a built in GPS but it does have a, an identifier uh, to be able to uh, geolocate according to uh, the local access points or you know certainly my location on the cell towers and there you go there's a reboot it's just not a good app unresponsive slow uh, the UI is rather kludgy uh, it doesn't do everything I would have expected it to do certainly not in an intuitive way I know there are now other astronomy applications available on the iTunes store uh, others have been rated higher than this particular application. Had I seen a video review of this particular app on the iTunes store, I would not have purchased it. Now, oops, sorry. You have to pardon me as I'm juggling around. I'm going to pan back. If you guys have had a different experience with this particular application, uh, I'd be interested in hearing from you. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Um... It would have been nice, and I'm hoping to see that they improve the app over time, hopefully real quick, because it's completely unusable. A lot of features in there, but they're so kind of lost. Um, you know, you, you've got like a built-in flashlight, and you can turn on like night vision or like a red light, but that's not on by default. Um, it's It's got a lot of information, but it's just slow. I mean, it's just ungodly slow it, it's got a city search like where it can try to find you by city Seattle wasn't in there Seattle wasn't in there uh, I mean for $12 in the app store that's a lot of money to spend and considering that the app that everybody's raving about 
is nine ninety nine, two dollars less, and everyone says they would have bought that had it been released before, had they seen it before. I guess the long story short is, um, wait till you see a video review of an application in the App Store before you buy it. Just wait. Screenshots do not tell the full truth. Wait for a video review. Wait until the app has been out at least a week if you're going to spend money on it. Don't really pay attention to a lot of the reviews that are in the App Store because you don't know who's really writing them. Uh, look for balanced reviews and more importantly, look for people who have reviewed it who are outside the App Store. Look for the video reviews from independent sources. Um, Another thing that I would have uh, appreciated more uh, from from this particular utility uh, is waiting until there were more astronomy apps available before I decided to purchase, and I should have done that. So there's just some tips for you, uh, probably three or four, if not five, useful tips uh, if you ever want to buy anything or are going to buy anything through the iTunes App Store apps for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, but again, I have to thank uh, the, these guys over at omax.com. This is the wallpaper that he sent. Isn't it kind of neat? The omax logo is right in there. Thank you. A hundred dollar gift certificate. So now I'll be able to review more uh, iPod apps, uh, and that that's going to keep me going for hopefully a little while. Hopefully, I won't find uh, too many more bombs. I would say. I mean, that literally crashed right here on screen. It's just it wasn't a good app. Uh, this is another thing I'm hoping the App Store will be able to do is provide better revisioning so that I can see when an app has been updated. Like in the App Store, like has a new version been released? When was the last time it was updated, et cetera? Right now, the uh, App Store does not show those details, which is kind of um, needed for this type of app. I mean, normally, like with a television show or a movie or a song, it never changes, but an app is going to evolve. And Apple needs to do a much better job at surfacing the details of an application, making it you know, more likely that I'm going to purchase an app that has been uh, revised. Uh, if I, I tell you, if this uh, app doesn't improve quickly, uh, I am going to give it like a, you know, one to two star in the App Store. And I, I'm hoping that other people are going to pay attention to that. Um, but now I've, I've passed along my tips. Maybe I've saved you $12 if you were looking to buy this. Don't, at least not right now until you hear from me again on it. Uh, anyway, my email address is chris at perla.com. Maybe you've had experiences with the other apps uh, that you you know give two enthusiastic thumbs up to compared to this one, uh, or you know of any other apps uh, that you've uh, tried and that you believe are worth the money in the app store. Uh, you're also welcome to stop by the website uh, where we're streaming live 24 hours a day. And yes, I do accept donations in the form of iTunes gift certificates. Um, this is the biggest one I've ever received, ever. Like, gift certificate. I mean, ever in my entire life have I never have I ever been handed a gift certificate worth more than $50. So uh, $100 gift certificate. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, uh, you're welcome to stop by the website. Uh, and join us in the chat room. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.